what up guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking if you're new here do me a favor by clicking the subscribe button so we can go on this motorcycle vlogging journey together and for those who have been coming back to watch my videos i'm truly truly grateful to you keep supporting me with your likes and keep watching my videos so we can grow together so guys in today's video i'm going to talk about a few maintenance tips for keeping your bike in mint condition at all times and in order to keep your bike in good condition and shining all the time it all boils down to one simple product that you can find almost anywhere especially in hardware stores before I go ahead let me apologize for my location it might be a little noisy in the background because I'm standing underneath an elevated highway and with a cars passing by it's so noisy so pardon me now moving back to the product so what i'm talking about here is wd-40 and i'm pretty sure anyone who deals with machines or has a bike or a car or something like that already is familiar with wd-40 or just doing things around the house getting squeaky doors to stop making the noises and lubricating stuff here and there should know wd-40 so as i said it's a very common product it's inexpensive it's got multiple uses you can use it on on metal you can use it on plastic you can use it on many other surfaces and other materials so I'm just gonna pull out my WD-40 and tell you a few things that you can use it to do on your bike to keep your bike fresh and in mint condition and also to add a few things that you shouldn't do or parts of the bike that you shouldn't put this product to be safe on the road so guys this is the brand WD-40 that I'm referring to and I'm pretty sure like I mentioned a lot of people know this already and as you can see mine comes in a different color kind of this yellowish black uh, because the company also produces all kinds of lubricants for different purposes now the regular one you want to find is the one with a predominantly blue color um, i've run out of that right now i have this one which is like a silicon lubricant uh, it's basically the same but for slightly different purposes so you want to get the one with the blue tint color i think that's the regular one for multi-purpose use now let's talk about the things that you can do on your bike with this lubricant i mostly use it to shine the plastics and the metals on my bike it helps it to make it look beautiful and it also helps to prevent rust over time so it's not something that is going to stick on and stay there forever you have to do it every now and then to keep your metals and your plastics on your bike in good condition and i would advise that you don't spray onto the bike before you rub it with a microfiber cloth because it's oil based it might hit parts of the bike that you don't want it to so my advice is to spray it on a cloth preferably a microfiber cloth before you clean the parts that you want to clean so i basically use it for metals and uh, plastics and once you do that it really pops and shines and you can be sure that it's going to protect it from rust and corrosion and other vagaries of the weather now another way i use my wd-40 is if you regularly maintain your chain and you spray lubricant on your chain sometimes you have some of the chain lubricant splashing on your rear rim and it kind of sticks there especially the sticky type of chain lubricant now when you use the wd-40 it's very good at wiping off some of those lubricants that stick on your rear rim and tire so give it a go try wd-40 for your plastics and your metals and i'm pretty sure you won't be disappointed but let me quickly move to talk about some of the parts that you don't want to have this product on and i'll also tell you why you don't want this product on those particular parts the first thing i'd like to talk about is the windshield the mirrors and the dash screen now WD-40 is kind of oil based it's not like alcohol that dissipates it's gonna stay on there so if you put it on your windshield it's gonna smudge the windshield and make it blurry and the same applies to your driving mirrors and your dashboard and your headlights and tail lights as well so you want to avoid putting this product on those ones most of these parts that I've mentioned are plastic anyways and you will need just water and a clean cloth to wipe them clean so you don't really need this product and they are not prone to rust or anything so avoid putting WD-40 on the windshield, the mirrors and the headlights and the dashboard as well 
Now I mentioned a while ago that I also use this product to clean off on the sides of the rim and the tire, especially the tire. You don't want it to go anywhere close to the contact patch of the tire, the parts that touch the ground, because then it becomes very slippery and it might be it might actually be very dangerous for you when you're riding on the road. So whatever you do, try as much as possible to avoid having oil or WD-40 on the contact patch of your tire because then it's going to be very slippery and it's dangerous and you don't want to do that. Having said that, it's also very good for cleaning your rims and making your rims shine and look good uh, all the time. So you definitely can do that. But as I mentioned again before, do not spray it directly onto the rim. So spray it on a cloth and then clean the parts of the rim that you want to clean. Now staying on the reason why you don't want to spray on any part of the bike directly, especially when you're cleaning the rims, because your brake discs and calipers are located in the middle of the wheel. So when you spray, the likelihood that some of this material gets onto your discs and into your brake calipers is high. And you want to avoid that because it is not a brake cleaner. So it's not meant to touch the brake disc. It's oil. So when you have this product on your brake disc, your brakes aren't going to work properly or maybe aren't going to work at all. So at all costs, don't spray directly onto the rim use a cloth so you know exactly where this thing is going now you also don't want to get this product onto the onto parts that you normally would touch like the handle grips or the foot pegs these are parts where you need friction and so if you put a product like this on those parts then it's going to be slippery and it's not safe for driving so do not put this product on the hand grips and the foot pegs let me not also forget to mention that this product can sometimes be used for cleaning the chain when you're servicing your chain. If you don't have a chain cleaner available and you have WD-40, you can use it. Uh, it's a very controversial topic, but I have used it a few times and it hasn't destroyed my chain. And I've seen many other people use it as well. So if you don't have a chain cleaner and you need to clean your chain, WD-40 can act as a substitute. But don't take my word on it. This is what I do and this is what I've seen other people do and they haven't had any problems. I haven't had any problems. So I'm not asking you to replace your chain cleaner with WD-40. But if you don't have chain cleaner available and you need to clean your chain, you can definitely use WD-40. It might not work as well, but it will do the job. So I guess that's all. If I've left anything out on the uses of WD-40 for keeping your bike in good condition, anyone out there who knows anything that I've left out, you can just let me know in the comment section so we can share ideas on how to properly use this product. But today, I just wanted to tell you how I keep my bike in mint condition. There might be other products out there, but this is what I use and I know a few other people use it as well and it works really well. It's very good because it doesn't fade any color on the bike and it just keeps the bike in very good clean condition. So that's it for today guys. I just wanted to bring you a few tips on how to use WD-40 on your motorcycle. Thank you so much for watching guys. If this is your first time, do me a favor by clicking the subscribe button so we can grow this motorcycle vlogging journey together. And don't forget to like the video and share it. And if you have any comments on the use of WD-40 on motorcycles, please leave it in the comment section so other people can benefit from the use of this product as well. So guys, till I see you in the next video, ride legal, ride safe. Peace.